Hey crypto traders, checking in on Bitcoin and some altcoins. We are looking at a key test of $16,000 resistance and the altcoins are starting to see a little bit of a shift that we've been watching for over the last week. We'll break it down how it has played out and what to look for in the short term. So we'll start by checking in on the broader market, the S&P 500 daily higher low set yesterday. We're now going to be looking for a lower high compared to the all time high, which was a little bit of a euphoric top in response to some vaccine news. So expecting the daily time frame to tighten up at least a little bit on the S&P 500. While that is happening, the dollar has a bounce underway. Anything under 94.30 is a daily lower high on the dollar who has failed to change the daily trend back to the bulls over the last month plus. And that's what we're watching for. Can the bulls pull that off from here? And as far as our asset bulls, aside from gold, stocks and crypto haven't really cared about this bounce over the last three days that the dollar has been seeing. So Bitcoin just rejected from resistance again. And we were extended in the short term levels as we were testing it. Hourly consolidation is underway. Easily in an hourly uptrend, no red flags as far as volume or any kind of massive dump. The 12 hour time frame was in a nice equilibrium, set our higher low, kept holding the exponential supports, broke one resistance level, failed the second. If we lose the hourly uptrend from here without breaking the $16,000 double top, that's a little bit of a red flag for me. I did exit a quarter of my Bitcoin swing and a quarter of my ETH swing on this move into strength simply because the last time we topped out and dropped $1,000 on Bitcoin, I regretted not taking profit. I said, that was an easy double top. And yes, you're sticking to your longer term game plan, but come on. So I took a little bit off at that resistance test and now I have more cash to buy any dip if I so choose. So Bitcoin is range bound. If you've been watching over the last week, what we have been looking for is Bitcoin to top out, pull back pretty hard and fast, and then trade sideways for a week. Well, we got that. We've ended up trading sideways for about three quarters of a week at this point. And we were looking for that sideways trading to lead to altcoins starting to gain some strength. We're seeing a tiny sign of it, not as much as would be ideal, but so far the decision to buy ETH on this pullback on Bitcoin has played out well. And we'll look at that in just a second. The Bitcoin dominance chart is sideways here. We're either about to confirm a little daily downtrend and a loss of the daily 12 period EMA support for the first time in almost two months, nope, almost one month. We're either going to see that happen and see weekly consolidation underway or keep holding this base of support. And you can see we're trading sideways the last five days and the break of this five day channel is going to determine a lot for short term momentum, whether Bitcoin stays king or whether we do see funds go into those altcoins a little bit more significantly. So ETH USD, beautiful continuation, just three daily inside bars in a row, high or low every single day, and a nice move up. So again, I did sell a quarter of my position, and that position was entered on the pullback on this dump. Had an average at about 431 or so, sold a little bit in the 440s for a four hour lower high, and then just sold a quarter of what I have remaining in the 470s into that strength. And again, the fact that we haven't consolidated on the daily time frame since we have seen this 25% move is another reason why I'm taking some of that profit into this strength. So this move up is because ETH BTC confirmed a little daily bull flag. Again, we're not seeing follow through. It's not ideal, but it is nice to see that ETH since that dip has been the better play compared to Bitcoin. Not by a long shot, it's not a huge difference, but it's enough of a difference for confirmation that, okay, watching all the moving parts, watching the different correlations, establishing a trade game plan based on most likely scenarios and seeing it all play out to a, a large enough degree that it's satisfying at this point. So from here, daily 12 period EMA is the most important for me on Bitcoin. 
because again, we've been holding that level at this point for over a month. If that level is lost, we zoom out and we look for weekly consolidation. So I am walking up my stop loss with these daily support levels. Right now it's still under 14,300. If we break 16,000, I'm going to move my stop loss up. And that will allow me to be aggressive buying weekly consolidation next time we see it because I will have more cash. I will be locking in profits on the way up. And that is how I'm personally going to prefer to do things here. I probably, I won't exit my full position. I will hold at least some of my position through weekly consolidation. But once I entered that ETH trade, I was then very heavy in the crypto space using up a lot of my funds. So just lightening, lightening that up a little bit. So ETH, four hour time frame, plenty of space. Actually, let's look at the hourly consolidating with Bitcoin, looking for the hourly higher low. If we lose hourly uptrends, we zoom out and we look for four hour higher lows. If we lose four hour uptrends, we zoom out and we look for daily higher lows. So bulls keeping momentum for now. And the question that we're gonna have over the next 24 hours, can Bitcoin break 16,000 convincingly or do we reject and pull back? And if we reject and pull back, the most important support for me is the last little 12 hour higher low, $15,090. Link USD, really nice four hour uptrend guide here. And again, it's just stair stepping its way up on these higher lows. And we're getting to a point, and if you remember the big, the Binance daily chart, it looked very similar to this and it did end up breaking bare. We'll look at that in just a second, but just little higher lows, a clear line in the sand of resistance at our recent high. We're either gonna break that resistance or we're gonna lose these higher lows. So we know a break is imminent and looking at Binance on the daily time frame and how it was a very similar pattern. We were watching this pattern until it broke bearish. And you can see this right in here is very similar to what Link is currently doing on the four hour time frame. And Link did just double top at 1339 and 1344. So a red flag if 1285 breaks. And that red flag is just in the short term because we know to zoom out with tons of space to be looking for a daily higher low to try and form from there. So bears potentially watching top fishing here for resistance. And that's the kind of scenario where, you know, say I'm long ETH and I want to hedge that a little bit. Maybe I short link and put my stop over that high. And that would act as a bit of a hedge in this scenario. And that's another thing. Look at this daily resistance coming into play as well. Rejected from it at the high. Got to be watching that as well. BNB USDT. So that pattern already played out. Let's get rid of that. Daily time frame is just sideways at this point. And we're not really getting a whole lot of clarity. I know bigger picture, I'm watching for a weekly higher low compared to 22.10. Has that weekly higher low been set? We're not getting any information on that. It's a weekly inside bar with four days left to go. If we close with a weekly inside bar, the weekly inside bar would have to break bullish to set that weekly higher low. So still worth watching. It's just not participating in doing much recently. YFI USDT, we just rolled over it looks like this was another one where the four hour EMA 12 support was a great guide, walking it up. We had a four hour equilibrium, last video that we checked in, bull break on increasing volume, keeping the party going, but we know the party can't last forever. We have not consolidated on the daily since going over 100%. Anytime that's the case, we know to be cautious. We know daily consolidation can't be too far away at that point. So four hour time frame just had a little lower high and lower low, so we zoom out and the daily time frame. We're gonna to look to set a higher low compared to the low of yesterday, but the momentum shift is on. And once today closes, if the low, wherever that is, breaks, we know daily consolidation is underway and we'll look for the daily higher low to form. We have not changed the daily trend yet, which is another reason why we need to be real cautious bullish on something that's gone 150% with no daily trend change after pulling back so significantly. So now it's up to the bulls, prove it, prove the follow through with a clear daily higher low and higher high. Prove that this wasn't just a one-off move, squeezing some shorts, prove that there is sustained buying and anybody that goes short from here will then get squeezed a bit more if we do, do change that daily trend and see a higher low and higher high. So gotta keep it short here as I'm about to go live and cover the end of the stock market trading day, but that is where we stand. Congrats to the bulls. Still comfortable. Again, just a little resistance level on Bitcoin. 
And it reminds me of right back here where our bull breaks, we're not really seeing any follow through. We topped out at 13,900, 14,100. And I remember saying, all right, bulls, it's time to get a clear break with follow through to eliminate this rising wedge feeling. And we're gonna be watching for the same thing in, in Bitcoin over the next 24 hours. Can we break 16,000? I wanna move up at least 2% over 16,000. So give me 16,320 and beyond for that to be a convincing break. And we'll continue to walk up stops, remain protective. Congrats to the bulls. Do good things. We'll see you soon. Have a good rest of your day.